current king of Scrabble, Victor the Mechanical Marvel. That's Victor the Brilliant for short. Victor sits on one side of the table. He's a robot uh, with a head and a face and a body, uh, no arms. It's a fiberglass shell. He can you know, look around, he looks at the board, he looks at people, he can talk to people. Scrabble is its own reward. Meet Victor, a Scrabble-playing robot at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. He is a champ when it comes to trash talk. Talk is cheap. Silence is expensive. He even alludes to the nerdy reputation of CMU students. Your words hold less than a CMU student at a party. Victor's secret is that he really isn't that good at Scrabble. His creators figured that if Victor always won, people would lose interest in playing with him. I thought that he was going to be a better player than he was, but then I realized that it was all about his trash talking, and so then I just proceeded to whip him, <laughs> which was fun. <laughs> Victor has another very human quality. He's a terrible loser. Um, one of the things that we've done in collaboration with the drama department is giving him different moods. I do not feel, but I am emulating the happy feeling. When he gets ahead, he goes into a happy mood. When he's losing, he gets into a, a, an angry mood and he'll trash talk people. If you need to check if a word will count, bring a dictionary. He'll be self-deprecating. My tiles are awful. I can't make any moves at all. Uh, no, he's not a good loser. Students and professors created Victor as a way of learning how robots can be pals with people. If robots are going to do things like helping old people run their households, it will help if robots are more companionable than, say, a toaster or a washing machine. I cannot believe Jim is that lucky. 